Yo, what's up guys? So this is actually just gonna be uh, one of my uh, normal style videos. Um, it's not live commentated. Uh, the gameplay you're watching is actually just the gameplay. Uh, just me trolling around on a normal game. Um, most likely PBE. And so uh, I'll be talking in the audio and um, if you wanna watch the game, um, you can watch the game. So it's kind of like a podcast in that uh, you can switch to another tab if you just want to watch the audio, um, whatever works. So today I'll be talking about quite a deal of stuff. Um, first off, I did get new uh, uh, mic. I got these like Apple microphone headphone things. So um, I'm, I'll probably be using those pretty soon. And the audio quality... Uh, just might get better. Um, I have to test it out. I'm not sure if it will be better or worse. Hopefully it will be better. And uh, yes, that sound was me uh, just starting a queue game. So yes, I am technically uh, queuing up for a lead game as we are uh, making this audio. But um, I'll mute that and um, Let's begin. So the title of this video is probably gonna be about uh, like end of the world, something or other. And that is because today is December 20th and tomorrow is the 21st and purported end of the world. So I'll be talking about this and if I have more time, I will move on to other things. I'm gonna keep these, this around like 10 to 15 minutes. I don't want it to be like a 30 hour video like uh, my last video um, so if it's popular enough I'll make a part two but um, I'll be sticking to end of the world stuff so the end of the world apparently is tomorrow the 21st um, if you guys don't know about this come on um, most of you guys watching are pretty old so uh, you're pretty experienced in this uh, for those of you who are younger and don't know, around two to three years ago, there was a huge hype that December 21st, 2012, which is tomorrow, is going to be like the end of the world. And now that's actually here, no one actually seems to care. Like everyone's just going about their normal business. Some people just don't care at all that they're making jokes. But, you know, two to three years ago, there was all these stories, there was a movie made, there were songs made about it, and um, it was crazy. People were selling everything they had and like buying like bomb shelter stuff and like pretty much stockpiling, which I don't think it's going to help. I mean, even with like your lifetime's earnings, and say, say you made like decent money, like 100k per year, and you had like say like 150k after several dozen years of working saved up like first off even if you sold everything bought a bomb shelter and you know bought like very like safety like conservative food one even if you survive you're pretty much stuck in a tin can with no internet no electricity no nothing um, for probably the rest of your life, your life, and you probably have nothing to eat except like crap food. So that's not that good of a life either. And the funny thing is, there are probably people who are gonna lock themselves in bomb shelters tonight if they haven't already. And then once the days passed, they're probably too scared to open the hatch. In case something like serious is gonna happen like they don't want any radioactivity or anything uh, going on so they just end up freaking um, staying pretty much in their hatch for the rest of their life scared that if they open the door something might happen but maybe who knows maybe they're smarter than that and they actually have like some sort of technological device that can tell you if the outside is clear or not who knows but i highly doubt it 
I highly doubt it. They'll probably be stuck there because they don't have that kind of money to buy that kind of stuff. So they're stuck in their freaking base or whatever. And like even if you survive, I feel like that's kind of pointless. Um, so I don't know. If you have thoughts, uh, feel free to comment. I don't think I'll be reading them. I might. I don't know. Um, but um, other than that... It's probably going to be pretty soon. Um, in a couple hours. I don't know the exact time, but um, it's going to happen soon. And most people are just going about their daily business. So that's that. And um, sorry, guys. Um, I had to go somewhere. So I had to cut it off real quick, but I'm back. And so the point of the message is um, freaking the end of the world is tomorrow. And so, I mean, it makes sense why um, people would be scared. And it actually made a lot of sense then. But then once you actually research it, it doesn't logically make sense. There are no real signs and the logic they used is like it looks reasonable on the surface but it isn't and i can go into detail on that but i did a whole spiel on my uh first or second live commentary um if you want to see that just search it up on my channel i did a huge spiel on that but um i could talk about more so essentially um the world is supposedly going to end because the mayans have this thousand long calendar system and the funny thing is most people watching this will probably be watching it after the date so um who knows what will happen tomorrow but um if it's after the date and we're still alive and you guys are watching this and you don't know what the hype is about essentially i mean it's really scary looking forward and apparently what they said was that you know uh, a thousand they had like a huge huge calendar system which was like thousands of years long and after like tens of thousands of years it ends today um, and so that's what scares everyone because their calendar system is so accurate for some reason and for me that makes not much sense because our calendar ends like once per year and that doesn't mean the world's gonna blow up. There's so many other things that end frequently or not as frequently, like Haley's Comet or other calendar systems, the lunar calendar, the Chinese calendar, and that doesn't mean anything's gonna blow up. In fact, when you look at the research, I did a whole presentation in school about this. Um, the world is not going to freaking end because of a stupid calendar in fact the minds themselves didn't believe this uh, this was like hyped up because of uh, i think like pop culture and like stupid uh, white people uh but um the minds themselves they didn't believe this it was just a calendar for them it was pretty darn accurate and that's one of the flawed reasoning things behind it uh, people would say oh the minds invented this calendar thousands of years before our modern calendar was invented and it was far more accurate than anything we've seen even to this date and true maybe they made a really good system but it's not as perfect as what we have today and uh, they themselves didn't think the world was going to end when their calendar ended it just means like the era ended and we're starting to count over again so um i think it's pretty dumb um what they've pretty much blown this all up to be and um i do think that uh it's pretty darn stupid um so if you have any comments leave them down below uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you like my content and um i have to say one more thing is uh tomorrow's gonna be the end of the world so um it's like i said it's scary it's much scarier looking forward than backwards but um Man, there's one more thing I have to say about the end of the world reasoning. 
and I guess it's just that um, uh, it's pretty flawed. The minds themselves thought the world would end numerous times throughout their life cycle. I mean, they thought the world would end like every two weeks um, back in their culture. So they sacrificed like people to the sun god to do stuff. And each time after two weeks happened, nothing occurred. So the minds themselves are pretty dumb. I could go on and on about the reasoning, um, but if you want to research that more yourself, uh, check it out. Otherwise, um, I'll cut it here because it's already uh, like nine minutes. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get more in in my next video. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.